Lighting for an outdoor scene can be very different to lighting indoors. Often you won't be able to access a power socket and therefore won't be able to use lights. The presence of the sun and the level of cloud cover can dramatically affect the look of an outdoor scene. There are a few important things to remember when shooting on a sunny day. A reflector is a very handy piece of equipment to have on an outdoor shoot. A reflector can be used to bounce light off of, and this can act as a second light source in the absence of lights. Using the sun as a direct key light will illuminate your subject very clearly. However, if your talent is looking directly at the sun, they will squint against the bright light and probably frown and look uncomfortable as well. Also, while the subject is illuminated, the direct light produces a flat look. To overcome these issues, you can position the subject and camera so that the sun is coming in at an angle. This will reduce the bright light shining into the subject's face and also creates shadows on the subject's face to give them a bit more shape. The only problem with this is that on a sunny day, the shadows on the subject's face will be quite dark and hard. To overcome this, we can use a reflector to bounce the sunlight onto the dark side of the subject's face. Here, the reflector is acting as a fill light to soften the hard shadows. Another way to use the sun is as a backlight, which can be a very effective way to create a sense of depth in the shot. The subject will have a nice glow around their outline, which helps to distinguish them from the background. However, the subject's face is in almost total darkness by comparison. In this instance, you can use a reflector to bounce the light from the sun onto the subject's face. Here, the reflector is acting as a key light. You can also use a second reflector on the opposite side as a fill light to soften the shadows on the darker side of the face. Another way to reduce the harshness of sunlight is by having your subject stand in a shady area, such as under a tree. This acts as a sort of natural diffusion, reducing the harshness of the sunlight and lowering the contrast on your subject's face. However, this can result in a flat image. Again, you can use a reflector as a key light to create contrast and definition on the subject's face. When shooting outdoors, always be mindful of the position of the sun as the correct relationship between the sun and a reflector can give you the same control as if you were shooting in a studio setup.